I think we're live now. I just got a message from Dan. So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Dean Denial. Welcome to uh, our the first session of the Moonstone Matriarchy, which is a girl power campaign where um, sexy strong women kick ass and take names. Um, it's Sapphic AF. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> I'm Jessica, uh, also known as I Sneeze Stars Online in places like TikTok and Instagram. And I will be your shenanigan sovereign this evening. Um, very quickly, I'm going to run you through the games that we have on this channel. And uh, then we will let the players take it away. So um, Monday nights, we have the Iowan Adventures at 7.30 p.m. EST, uh, a game DM'd by myself. It's D&D. &D. Tuesday nights, we have a State of the Union uh, shadow, shadow run campaign. There we go. Uh, at 7.30 p.m. EST, GM'd by at Coddlesworth and featuring myself and Katie. Uh, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST, DM'd by Mr. Markham. Friday nights, we have The Legends of Kralis at 11 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and DM'd by Telerius Game Master. -er. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sick. And uh, obviously, tonight, we have The Moonstone Matriarchy. Uh, most Saturdays, one Saturday a month, we will not be here. Um, don't forget to follow us on TikTok and YouTube and, you know, other stuff. A kid, uh, Katie, Katie, please make, make the words come. <laughs> I didn't, I, I never think it's going to be me next. Um, like ever. So I'm Katie, I'm Dungeon Mistress Katie on all the things, uh, mostly TikTok, sometimes Instagram, sometimes Blue Sky when I know it exists. I don't know, day to day. Um, and I am playing Rosalind Delara. Um, she is an Eladrin elf who has all the daddy issues. So, um, Juniper. Me. Uh, I'm Juniper. I usually they pronouns. I'm linen and spice, most places on the internet. Um, you can find me also playing Alien the first Sunday of the month on Shattered Tabletop Games, and that is a lot of fun. Tonight um, on the Moonstone Matriarchy, I'm playing Clover, who is a trickster cleric, and she is a little tiny tortoiseshell house cat. Um. Uh, Star. Hi, I'm Star. You can find me at Star Mama C on TikTok. I am the host and producer of Characters Without Stories, a podcast about people's characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. Tonight, I am playing Cappy, who is a Herringon Wild Magic Sorcerer. And I'm going to pass it to Mama Kalik. Hey, I'm Mummy Kalik. Um, you can't find me anywhere on the internet except for here on Saturdays, so don't try. Uh, I play a Winter Eladrian Druid, and that's about it. GM of Revan, did you go? Hey, everybody. My name is GM of Revan. You can call me in. I'm a little bit under the weather, but you can find me on the internet as GM of Revan everywhere. 
as GM of Revan. I make maps. I'm a role player, world builder, and content creator. I that does a lot of D&D and other TTRPGs. You'll find me here with D&D Denial, playing with these amazing women in a sisterhood of powerful, impactful, femme-driven rar. And <laughs> on Saturday evenings, and also um, I play games on Tuesdays and maybe Friday nights. And coming up, I am part of uh, Paladin Archives Marathon, where we are going to be doing Descent into Ab- Avernus, where we're going to try to attempt to break a world record. So, yeah. I pass it on to the next person who has a gun, and I think that's Scarlet. Hi, I'm so Scarlet. Happens to be six people. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Scarlet. You can find me here on Saturdays, uh, playing in the main, the mainstream moonstruary, the Moonstone Matriarchy. Uh, I'm playing Sin, the Moon Elf Warlock, and you can also find me on Sundays on my channel, Scarlet Sixty Four. I uh, DM a uh, out of the the abyss campaign and i also do various one shots in D D and pathfinder throughout the week uh i'm also the mother of dessert dragons if you know you know passing it on to our dm uh okay so i think uh uh and did you do the recap okay so we'll do the recap and then we'll start I also posted it into the Discord just for reference as well. <clears throat> so in our last session, or in our last little mini campaign, our sisterhood was put to the test by the priestess of Salandria to find a very important source of power that was stolen by into by and into away the Shadowlands. We basically went on a whole journey facing worms and mirrors and came across a dark elf that led us to this safe zone before finding a prince who was very hot and very jewel worthy but then uh turned out to be also somewhat of a sympathetic jerk so we have mixed feelings about him we also realize that our true enemy is Cappy's mom and we're going to take her down and that's <laughs> that's where we're at. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's more or less where we're at. Uh then you guys um Ugh. came back to um Salandria where you very smoothly handed over the moonstone to Nixaria. The Oops. Evil moon goddess. Oops. Fucking so, knew it, by the way. I knew it. Listen, I had to figure that. out a way to make that all work yeah. out. Um, uh, I forgot oh, about you that. You did good. Out. Sorry about that. <gasps> Mommy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, with that, here's what's been happening since then. About a month ago, the moonstone was stolen from the Temple of Salandria. About a week and a half ago, you all became a party for the first time and were sent on a mission to retrieve the stolen moonstone. About half a week ago, you returned successful, only to place the moonstone directly into Nixaria's hand. For the past three days, you have been under house arrest, confined to your rooms, only the high-ranking Lunar Sisters, the Crescent Guardians, have been seen around the temple, sweeping it and going from the temple to the palace and back again. You have all been separated and confined to your quarters. It's currently just after dinner time on the fourth day. I'm going to ask you, what do you think you've all been doing this entire time in your rooms? And uh, we'll start with, I'll just, we'll start with, uh, star and we'll and i'll call on people because i have someone i would like to end this with um i think happy has been very nervous i think that she has been really missing her friends 
um, and trying to pass the time with reading books and maybe doing a little bit of knitting, um, just trying to stay cozy, um, but not really doing a very good job of it. So you've been stressed and panicked more or less this entire time. Mm -hmm. Cappy needs her friends. You have not gotten a message from your your mother or your brothers, which, I mean, with something like this, you would assume that would be something that would happen. But there has been no correspondence in that time. Um, Anemone, what have you been doing this entire time? Anemone has um, disagreed with being locked up and she finds an old anger that's been sleeping and hidden um kind of waking up um the lunar guardians in fact had to rap on her door a couple of times and may have busted into her room a couple of times to at least just get her to settle down as she needs to spar uh she's got a lot of energy within her and she's been asking about her sisters and and asking for the priestess to 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 at least hear them out um, regarding the deception that they faced when we we passed on the moonstone. Um, she she's been thinking a lot about Sin and Cappy and um, Delphra and Clover and Rosalind and and thinking about her sisters and thinking about her past, but. Um, in between that, when she wasn't raging, she was exercising, working out, working on her her fighter forms, um, considering that her dragon slayer blade was taken away from her. She um, currently has the void strike blade, um, which seems to kind of have blended in with her body at some point kind of like hidden so this is the only blade that she actually has on her person um that she was able to ferret away from from eyes uh which was surprising because anemone is not very good at hiding things in the shadows so that's what she's been doing and on top of that she she's been asking the guards to at least send clover um catnip which is freaking adorable. Um, <laughs> I'd say with with how much noise you've been making, you've probably got your own guard outside your door now. Um, uh, you've probably been introduced at some point. Uh, you have Lyra. She's one of the... A very fearsome knight. She doesn't look like much. And by the way, uh, that's what I wanted to tell you guys before we started. The NPCs... Uh, I've been putting in links to their Pinterest page so that you can see what they look like. There's names and everything. Um, and just in just so you guys can keep up with what's going on. But you, you definitely have your own guard standing outside um, who's been checking on you and making sure you don't, uh, I don't know, burst out and start stuff. Um, Rosalind. What have you been doing? So I think Rosalind would just kind of be trying to not be angry. Um, she doesn't do well with being kept in a room. So she's been she's been doing a lot of meditating and like trying to understand why other people like why is she not feeling the same way that other people do about Luna. And, you know, why, why can't she get there? She's, she's, because she had said so much time. She's just like, there's, I'm broken. There's something broken in me. This doesn't work, but like, why? <laughs> so, so you're really having like a crisis of faith right now. Yeah. A hundred percent. Okay. Or like okay, okay. a lack thereof. Yeah. 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 Wondering why you can't seem to connect when everyone else can. Right. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Delphra. Delphra's losing her ever living fucking mind. I'm so um, you just locked you just locked somebody in a room with no 
recollection of who she is, what's going on from the only people that she actually knows. Okay. She's driving her guard absolutely fucking bonkers. That's what she's doing. Yeah. You have your own guard too. <laughs> like you guys, your rooms are all in the same area of the, like it's all down, down the same hallway. So one or two guards is enough to make sure that you all stay in your rooms right now, but there are, they are sp- strategically positioned outside of Delphra's room and Anemone's room. So Delphra is like switching between being angry and then also trying to seduce her guard to get out. <laughs> um, <laughs> Your guard, your guard is, uh, her name is Faya. I believe, let me just- You, uh, you would she... name her after my middle child. That's fine. Not Freya, not Freya, <laughs> Faya. Okay, close like enough. PH. Close enough. Uh, okay, is she well, a huge no barbarian? Argument. No, she is a a sexy tiefling cleric vibes. Uh, okay, yeah. Sexy so she's tiefling is awfully repetitive. Bitch. It's fine. Awfully repetitive. Yeah, that's fair. That's you were being that's a little fair. redundant there. <laughs> yeah. That is that is fair. All, just so you're all aware. All, there, so you're playing a lot of Baldur's Gate, aren't you? Everyone's hot in this game. Um, yeah, so you do have, uh, her name is Faya. She's outside your door. Um, this is a dating has, sim, I was told. It, who, <laughs> I will do whatever you want me to do, guys. Um, oh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> outside your door is um, is Faya. She has baby pink skin, soft yellow eyes, and short chin length wavy white hair. Uh, she has horns that kind of like resemble crescent moons and um, armor that's very practical. So you, I misspoke when I said cleric. You're getting rogue vibes with the leather armor. Um, you're playing on Scarlet. my fantasies now. What's going on? Uh, yes, of course I am. All of you, just just FYI, all of you opted in for romance for a romance. Oh, Every like when I went, I well. asked you all these like questions, like what would you do this and all that, and you guys were all like, "Yeah, we'll do the romance. You can <laughs> definitely make an NFT <laughs> sim." I I definitely yeah yeah, but some of you were even like, "Yeah, Polly," and I was like, "Sure, I'll 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 figure it out." <laughs> um, I was under the impression that this was a polycule. Is so. this not? <laughs> is is this not? I'm pretty sure we're all in a relationship together, right? Yeah. Um, oh. oh that's yep. what this is <laughs> <laughs> sin what have you been doing all right a couple of questions first uh what are our rooms like bedrooms or are they like cells you're, you're in your bedrooms oh in our bedroom like our yeah you are in they, within. they're not treating you horribly you have just been confined to your rooms and you like they give you regular meals you have books you have all your stuff Okay. They're just, you can't leave. Okay. So Sin is in full problem solving mode. Um, She has been paying attention to the guards, how often they come, uh, what they give us, who, like, she's, she's clocking all of it very pointedly uh she's not right raising any suspicion she's being very very like like taking it but she is paying attention to every little detail scoping out any kind of weakness if she feels like the temple has been infiltrated by nexaria this is not okay we need to do something about this so she is biding her time waiting for the perfect moment for a jailbreak so here's what I'll tell you. You always have two guards on this this hallway and they are pretty much always placed in front of Delphra's door and Anemone's door. Um, you also know that you are dealing with uh, Crescent Guardians, which to you guys, these are like the top knights. Okay. Um, a lot of them work, do a, a lot of them shift between the palace and the temple. So they are not to be fucked with or taken lightly. Um, I think you she also would also be though. eavesdropping a lot. Okay, so... Everybody who goes through, she is pressing her ear against the door to catch any bit of information. 
roll me um roll me perception to see what you've been able to hear. First roll of the campaign. I rolled a natural or I, I rolled a three on the die, which is a six. Which is a six. <laughs> okay, so I'm proficient you, in this too. You hurt you can you've definitely heard the guards. You know that there are two. Sometimes you've heard them talking. You don't you don't hear what they're saying, but you do hear that there are two distinct voices. Um you know that they uh they shift every eight hours. Um, and you'll have a new set. Um, and I think that's more or less what you've been able to gather because it's, you know, very heavy wood door. Um, doors locked you from know, the outside. Doors locked. Right Do now, we... they're magically locked. Okay. okay. Um, they Do we get unlocked. Have windows? You do have windows. Okay. Uh, you're You're higher up. Right. So like you if you jumped, you'd take some damage. Um, but they haven't been locked yet. Um I'll say one more thing that you have noticed, and this is not about what's in the what's in the temple. You notice a a very large absence of your uh patron. She has not contacted you. She has not tried to play with you, like play any games, any type of that, visit you in your dreams, nothing. Um, Sin is going to assume that means that Nixaria has gotten what she has come for and has bigger things to worry about other than toying with her favorite pet. Uh, She doesn't believe that it is over, but she is kind of relieved at the peace and would rather be left alone anyway yeah, yeah, yeah okay clover what have you been doing clover has been absolutely worried sick um she has been barely eating for the last three days um she's alternated her time between uh, scratching at the door, um, sleeping in front of the door, just trying to both hear what's going on, but also trying to be as close as possible to her sisters, which means sleeping right at the door. Um, she has spent some time on the windowsill gazing up at the moon and trying to connect with Luna and trying to pray and not to find solace, but to to apologize almost. She feels that she has disappointed Luna, that she's disappointed all of her sisters, that she's disappointed everyone. Oh, oh honey bear. Yeah. You have you have felt a distinct lack of Luna as well. Um where are you now? in your room are you it's it's after dinner time so it's starting to get darker where would you be um is the moon in the sky at the moment yes no wait hang on what what's i have the arc i actually wrote out what what the moon phase is no it is the new moon okay in that case, Clover is is doubly on the windowsill, just gazing out at the sky, alternating between searching desperately to see any sliver of moon and just not seeing anything at all. As you are case the windowsill, seeing darkness in the sky, a brown mist begins to waft up and kind of enter through your window is there anything that you do um being the brown mist i think she jumps off the windowsill and kind of backs to the wall just kind of like flattens herself a little bit side jumps back (laughs) 
Clyde Kitty. Yep. This this brown mist fills your room and begins to coalesce. Um and not more like you hit the wall, and about a second later, a a short halfling with with um it's like chin length, light brown hair and brown eyes, a very childlike face pops out of that mist and hits the floor and goes, ah, I never, I can never stick those landings. Hey, pretty kitty. Clover just scampers across the room and jumps into her arms and just, if she could cry, she would be crying. She holds you up to her face, rubs your her face against yours, and and scratches your ears. Um, Gilla is one of your one of your uh, the I mean one of the people that you grew up with on the streets who followed you. One of the only one I believe who followed you to the uh, Temple of Salandria. Yeah, yeah. I had to. Uh, well. I had to learn that spell so that I could be more or less a fart. I think I was a fart. <laughs> I Thank felt you like for one. Coming. I'm you coming. So much. I abandon you. It's been real rough, huh? What's what, what's what's been happening in here? They don't let anyone in. Yeah. We're all under house arrest. What happened? I have like I, I I know the gossip. I know I know the gossip, <laughs> and that's like wow, you guys fucked up. But oh, so it's like true. We we fucked up. We we got the moonstone back. We brought it back, and when we got home. When we got home, Lady Lysandra was there. Oh, I gave it to her. But it wasn't Lady Lysandra. She she strokes your your head. Sorry. Really? Like 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 in person? She was Lady Lysandra, and then she wasn't Lady Lysandra. She 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 changed. Well, that's not great, uh, especially since Lysandra's been missing ever since. So, what? Yeah, no one's no one's been able to find her, uh, at all. That's not good. No, it's not. And everyone's really stressed about it. Um, so yes. that's bad. That's really bad. Okay. What's What's been happening on the outside? It's not just you guys that is kind of locked down. Like, the temple is locked down. They're not letting anyone in or out. Um, that's why I had to sneak in. No one's coming in or out other than the Crescent Guardians and they go to the palace and then they come back. So. Uh. Do. Killer, what do we do? Um. Find Lysandra? I mean, if anyone's gonna know what to do, it, it would be the high priestess, right? Right, well, right, well, I right. Mean, was, was, is if she's gone, how how long how long has Nixaria been Lysandra? How how long was she ever was Lysandra ever a real person? Was it Nixaria the whole time? Who knows? Or has, what's what has Nixaria done with her if she took her place? I I don't like these questions. 
I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, how, how, this... how, how, how many times a day can you do the fart thing? I, I think I got to like one more in me. How, what are you, what are you thinking? Can we add that as a quote for ever <laughs> and all time? <laughs> How many times can you do the fart thing? Just drop it in the channel. I'll make a quotes channel after. And then that's going on merch. So I love it. I'll, I'll make I'll make it a t-shirt. Um well I was thinking we need to we, we need to talk to my sisters. If uh, it, can you you can go in through other people's windows, right? Yeah. Can you, can you take messages to people in that form or are you just missed? Like you can't hold things. Ooh, good question. Let me look up Gash's form. I'm, I'm guessing anything that she would be holding would probably turn into gas with her, right? Yeah, she's going to turn into parts. The, her whole thing is. <laughs> um, you transfer a creature you touch with them. Uh, zero hit points, corporeal, this form. Okay. Um, she can't talk or manipulate anything. Mm -hmm. I, mm, can you still make that double of yourself? I I think so. I think so. I I haven't tried. I know there's been other things I haven't been able to do, but I haven't tried that one. Have you, like, can you, do you need to see to do that? Could you, like, just make her on the other side of the door? Oh, I don't know. I have, I have this scroll, and she pulls out a scroll of, I think it's Knock. Knock is the one that can undo magical locks? Yeah, I think so. I have this times two so i don't know who you're gonna open up from that but i also brought you this and, and then you see her take off her necklace that she wears um and i brought you this and it's um it's actually your it's it's actually an amulet of why well, close things hang on i brought you an amulet of the devout um and i can like i love you so much i can go and set things on fire somewhere and cause distraction you love doing that i love th i really like setting things on fire it's all i want to do most of the time um and maybe start in like lissandra's office Good There's got to be something, like, people, they got to have been looking, but, like, maybe you can find something. I don't know. I just, I'm trying. Thank you. Don't get caught. I'll try not to. And Clover, she, like, slips the amulet Yeah, 100%, just, like, she's doing the same thing to you, rubbing her face against your, your, your face. And she goes, I have one more question for you, though, before... Before I go and cause problems. Your. Your friend. The one with the fox. No Is she. A. Insane. And B. Single. Because I like the crazy bitches. I. I. Yes, to both, as far as I know. Perfect, 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 perfect. I heard Thank that. You. You're so hot. Oh shit! I gotta go. <laughs> and then she <laughs> she gashes forms out of there. <laughs> and just as she does that, the door opens. You have like a couple seconds. What do you do? 
Um, dash the scrolls. Can, can, have I got somewhere on my person that I can stash the scrolls? You have your collar. Like that. Okay. Yep. So I'm I'm stashing like so they're out of sight. Sorry, it's my dog. Um, and I am like hopping hopping up on my bed and just kind of looking casual, like nothing to see here, sort of thing. Oh, I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Start kneading uh, the air. <laughs> yep, she's doing that. <laughs> Fea opens the door and is like, You I heard something in here. It didn't sound like you, so and she Sometimes walks I over to the window. Talk. Sometimes I sleep talk. Yeah, in a completely different voice. Com completely. I haven't heard myself sleep talk. I don't know what it sounds like. Why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. And, uh, you see her take out like a scroll. Shrieks. And she uh, she casts a spell that more or less puts uh, what is that? A, ca a force cage on the window. Oh. oh no. Did we hear Clover scream? Did Clover didn't scream, did she? I thought I heard someone scream. Okay, sorry. Yeah, uh, that might have been my baby. yelled through there, and then uh, her Gilla replied, and then was like, "I need to go." So, the doors, like, is it barred doors? They are wood. They they're heavy wooden doors, so we can't see. Like, there's no opening to see through the door. Like the no. window. Is there a crack yeah. at the bottom of the door? Yeah, there's like a small crack. Ah, uh, did. Did Faya did Faya leave the door open as she's in here? A hundred percent. She she had she left it over just a crack, went and cast checked out the window, cast her thing, and then went to go. As she's distracted casting the thing, can I fucking bolt? You you take off. Okay. Um <laughs> you just I'm not even gonna make you roll for that. She was it's like she turns just too late. She sees you go out the door and it's like oh shit. Um and then is out the door after you. What do you do? Who who are the next two doors down from me? Like literally just door one, door two, as I'm charging down the corridor. Okay. So I'd say next to you is probably Sin and then Rosalind on your side. Okay. And at the end Scroll. of that, across from Rosalind is Anemone, and Anemone has someone in front of her door. So there's another there's another guard there. Okay. I am going to attempt to, as I'm charging past. Uh, Sin's door. I'm, I would like to attempt to shove one of the scrolls, one of the knock spell scrolls, under Sin's door. Slide of hand. Um, and then, slide of hand. Slide of hand. Okay. Sin, by the way, has her eye. She's like, "What's going on?" <laughs> yeah, and then you need to make a dexterity right right check so that you don't get a paper cut. Uh, <laughs> I <dirty> must <laughs> Curry, that was loud. information. Light of hand, so your eye just sees a like a kitty paw and a scroll being shoved towards you. Um, my cat likes to open the bathroom door with her paw, so it that's what I'm seeing. It's like, pop, pop, pop. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, sleight of hand 22 <gasps> right under the door, like. You don't even you see her eye and just avoid completely. You're oh, good. I'm I pull it up, I see what it is, I like grab it, and I'm gonna like Yeah, a hundred percent. Uh that's at that moment, like Faya's outside the door and you head to the next one. Um, sleight of hand. Yep, sleight of hand, okay. 
at this point, there's a guard on either side of me, right? I'm sandwiched between two. You guards are running the between the next one. Yeah, yeah. There's one like. Okay, dirty twenty for the second one. Immediately able to slide that under as well uh, with a dirty twenty. I don't even think they notice. Uh, they, her name Celine is like ducking down to grab you, and I'm gonna roll to see if she is able to grab you. Can I, as I'm like peeking through this, as this is happening, can I send my mage hand through the crack, which looks like a shadowy, spooky hand to somehow distract her or fuck up her attempt to grab Clover? Just, I know that mage hand can't do much. I'm just trying to like, just, you You can trip Faya. Or you can, which, or you can try and uh, interrupt um, Celine going for, going for Clover. Is Celine the one grabbing Clover? Mm-hmm. I, th- can I trip Celine? Yeah, I'll we'll let you try and trip Celine. Um, okay. You know what? It's a you creepy even... looking mage hand. Like it's enough to it's it looks like almost like a spider made out of shadow. And it's just like <laughs> 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 uh, um, <laughs> Give me <laughs> Okay. She rolled a 19. I'm gonna let you make a a dex check to try and grab her with your with your mage hand. Acrobatics and I'm gonna let dex. it's the same thing, I guess. Just dex. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna let you if if she gra- if she's able to do that with her hand, you get advantage on your on your um your dex check to run and just like avoid acrobatics. I, Let's say acrobatics. I got a fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, one hundred percent. She's she's focused on on Clover. Wait, I'm gonna let what... you do that. Yeah, I'm just using she's... my hand to distract to, to help Clover get away. Yeah. Okay. And now you have to I beat a nineteen. On my deck. Okay. I'm. I failed. Oh wait. Who, who has? Oh, athletics. Clover has to beat the nineteen. With advantage. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Ooh. Okay. I have a plus two acrobatics. You're a cat. You should be higher. <gasps> I made it. I made it. I, so at uh, dirty twenty. It, wait. No, dirty twenty one. I can't math. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> what does it look Sin, like? What Sin are you doing with be this? Fist bumping. <laughs> what is it? What does the hand do? Oh, does me. the hand so, like yeah, that's the hand, hand scuttles? So as she's reaching down to pick up Clover, and Clover's like, you see these hands. You just see a spider hand go. <laughs> and I feel like it just makes the lady who's trying to grab Clover go, oh. Just enough, <laughs> just just enough for Clover to get further. It's just a little distraction, like an unsettle. I'm just trying to unsettle the fuck out of her. You, <laughs> she, she's like, Ugh. and then Clover jumps on her head and just she goes down, and you use her as a springboard, and it just go down the hall. Okay, at that exact moment, you hear an alarm go off. That's oh, going shit. through the temple. And that's the fire alarm. Gilla has started a fire somewhere. <laughs> I think Sin would know. I love her. <laughs> that's the fire alarm. Yeah, you all know what this is. You all know what this is. This is the fire alarm. Like if what is what is everyone doing in this moment? The hand is gonna try and lift the keys. I know I have a knock scroll, but it's gonna try to lift the keys in this moment of chaos. Like, oh, this was like this was the break since we've been waiting for the moment of distraction. She knows that all the guards are gonna go fire, and she's gonna try to get her this mage hand to lift the key so that she can get us all out. What do you plan on doing about the other guard? Isn't she um, going to be addressing the fire? There are other people in the temple. Her job is to stay with you guys. I want to I take care it. of the other guard. Let me take care of the other guard. Okay. So, so um, slide of hand for the a roll for the lifting the keys. And what are you doing with the other guard? 
So I think that I want to, in the opposite direction, create a minor illusion of Lady Lysandra's voice saying help, screaming help. Okay. 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 So in the uh, opposite direction, like it. down at the end of the corridor, you hear, help, help me. And Faye up stops. And Celine looks up at her and is like, go, I got this. And for that split second, they head, she heads in another direction and you have that. What do you do? What was your, 12. what was your slide of in? 12? Ooh. Ooh. So, yeah. um, I'm going to roll perception. Okay. She's distracted. She's trying to catch a cat. Let's see. She's not paying attention. This is such uh, a she, high. She got I a ten. It. I love this. So much. <laughs> this is like a cartoon se- segment in a in a so, classic movie. <laughs> all you hear you... at this point is Delphi going, "Oh bloody hell!" And she's like, "Can see everything underneath her, like underneath the door." And she freaking face steps in front of the keys. For fuck's sake! <laughs> 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 Okay. You could do so, that the whole time. You I could. You could have turned into a bug. I could have. I could have. No, <laughs> I'm just going to freaking face step and just unlock the everybody. Whole time. Um, now, uh, however. Celine has taken off after. You see the, the keys in the spidery hand of the mage hand, and it like holds it up to you, and it's so creepy. It's like it looks like its shadow is like dust pouring off of it, and it's like it its fingers are like long, and each knuckle is like a big bulb, like spider legs, and it's just like <laughs> here. Um, the only thing is, is um, Faya is that her name? Yes, she's she's, she's gone down the hall to hear. To, she's he, she hears uh high priestess Lysandra oh going, I thought it was help, Celine help. that went down the hallway are they close to the keys I'm you handing have, you the keys yeah the, the hallway is empty you have the okay. keys okay I wasn't sure if somebody was still on the floor so what do you do you don't have much I'm, time I'm freaking unlocking everybody let's go you start unlocking one after the other your sisters are free you guys are all <sighs> in the hallway minus Clover who has, you know, taken off down the hall and I'll say probably doubles back without being noticed um, yeah, to meet up with everybody. Question. This is... um, sorry. No, sorry, go I'm going to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. It, did Lyra and Celine switch off? I totally messed that up. It's not Celine, it's Lyra. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Just wanted Mommy. to make sure. My just wanted to make sure. Okay, okay, okay. Continue. So, what do you do? You're all you're all seeing each other for the first time in like four days. Um, just hugs once. I'm Group I'm hugs. just gonna be like sisters <laughs> through the servants' quarters. <laughs> no, I feel like Sin would know what uh, route would be less likely to be traversed. Um. You have As you're at the you have a hallway going on. So one went one way, one went the other. Uh, do we know which way is the best way to get out? Just uh, from general knowledge of living in this temple, these are our bedrooms. You'd probably head towards the uh, towards Fea. Okay, in her direction, so the left. Okay. Um, if you're sneaking, I'll need a group stealth check. Yeah, I can sneak. Um, before I this look is... pointedly at Delphra, we're gonna sneak, right, sister? <laughs> and I go, <laughs> what, what was that, Anemone? Um, Anemone has already got the void strike leg. The moment she heard the fire alarms and things like that, she's already got like a backpack packed up onto one side and she's got like she's gonna hoist it over and she's gonna go, okay, let's go. And She's going to scoop up whoever is smallest and be like, okay, I can run. Let's go. So uh, as Sin tells Delphra, like, we're going to sneak, she kind of just gives her a nod and then uh, casts Pass Without a Trace. Beautiful. Everyone can add 10 to your stealth checks. Let's see. Roll these Roll these for me, everyone. Uh, 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 That makes it a 28. 28. Nobody sees you. You are invisible. You're a shadow (laughs) on the fucking wall. Uh, next 27 
27. You are just as sneaky. <laughs> the only thing that sets you apart is sometimes you hear your nails click on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you need uh, a 21. Here, uh, so thank you for the spell. 100%. You're doing just as well. Everyone. Uh, 21. 21. Okay. Uh, Scarlet. You bumped me from a 13 to a 23. So thank oh you. Oh my God. Sister. Anemone. You bumped me from a 10 to a 20. Look at that. Okay. You guys, you guys are like, you're finding, you know, you, this is your home. Okay. You know, the ins and outs, you know, what stair creaks, you know, where it's darkest in the hallways. You're like the wind. You guys are just, he's like, the wind. Sorry. <laughs> no one sees you. Uh, at some point you even on, on Faya on her way back is like, uh, like you see her going, Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. And heading back, knowing that that something is amiss. You guys head to Lysandra's. Do you leave? What's what's the plan? Yeah, where do, where would I? So Sin is thinking, let's get the fuck out of here and regroup. But if someone else has a better idea, we need to go to no. the kitchens. We're gonna need food uh, unless I, you have food. June, you're you're completely uh, muted. <laughs> I think we could get food in the city. Yeah. I, I don't need, I, we don't need to stay in here. That, there's something very wrong. We need to get out. Can I do a perception check to, or to see if there's like anything specifically, like if there's a trap up ahead or a, a, whatever. Yeah. Rogue give stuff. me a perception check. Think... Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can hear me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Um. Uh, yeah. As we're bolting along, I will just super quickly say, um, Lysandra's been missing can't since. Can't see anything. You can't um, see anything. Okay, you have no idea. It was since... Nosaria the whole time. I I don't know. Maybe she's been missing ever since the Moonstone happened when we brought it back. Um, Gilla said maybe start in her office to investigate where she is or, or, or what's happened. Her office? We know where that is, right? Yeah. 100%. Is it on the way out or is it deeper into the belly of the beast? It would be, it is fairly central, but um, you we might are you think passing maybe that, without like, a trace. You are passing without a trace. No one can see you guys. So you can get there completely like invisible. Who said, who and, said to check out the office? A friend of yours. Yeah. Gilla. Um, she's, who's, well, She's another sister, but she's an old friend from way back. She's the one that, that she she farted in through the window and brought the knock spells. Lovely. Let us go, sisters. So I like the night. <laughs> sneaking through the temple <laughs> to reach and the high priestess office. The alarm. The, yeah, the alarm. <laughs> that's her. And oh. at that moment, you hear from another side of the temple the fire alarm going off there too as she's just <laughs> running around lighting every sort of fire she can possibly light oh, oh that's you might want to go there yeah let us, let us make this quick yeah um go on Sin. yes i don't know if her office would be locked but i and i pull out of my cleavage the scroll i still have a knock spell in case we need to open the door beautiful it smells um, like my perfume sorry <laughs> So you guys are the high priestess's office. Okay. It, you're journeying there. It's you're tense, but you know, it's quiet with the, with the alarms going off and all of that. There's more things for people to be dealing with than just you guys. And it's pretty clear. Uh, the temple's hallways are dimly lit. They're, flickering candles that are kind of like that's the only thing that's lighting your way um they cast like long haunting shadows that like that go on the wall but like again this is your home you know this place uh you feel you you feel you hear muffled sounds of like people yelling and trying to like put out fires in the background <laughs> um every now and then you hear footsteps of like patrolling guards but again you're in, it's impossible to see you guys um 
you get to her office. Just before her office. What do you do? Just before her office? Yeah. So you're on, you're, you think of it, you coming out of one hallway and then you don't know what's on that, that next. Oh, I guess I, do any of you have eyes like, like you can peek without being detected kind of, I'm not very stealthy. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You got a 28. Um, give me, you're gonna roll me another stealth check because yeah, yeah for reasons. Hmm. <laughs> and yeah, the worst that the suspicious thing. at all. Could, could <laughs> I poss- oh sorry. Could I possibly um looking at everyone? So we need to be sneaky, right? Yeah. How how tall 20, is the roof? that was a, a nat 20 on my stealth, yes. by the way. Nobody sees you. You like freaking somersault across the goddamn hallway, and like just saying, <laughs> it, <laughs> you spot the actual Crescent Guardian Selena standing there. Um, uh, I'd like just, to point out it's a twenty six, but it was a nat twenty with yeah. A no, nobody. So she's there's that. She's like <laughs> filing her nails. Okay, I disappeared. <laughs> she's busy. I I am missed. Uh, and and Emily, do you want to finish that before you? Sorry. How tall are the ceilings? The ceilings, they're about uh, 10 feet. And then many, okay, okay, okay. Um, before she disappears, could she have thrown Rosalind a potion of climbing? 100%. That yeah, and wasn't... then Roz does her sick uh, like dive roll across, sees <laughs> Selena. <laughs> Uh, which by the way, Selena is just kind of like, she's like a visage of like her skin is a tapestry of like the sea. So she's got scales that are like reflect the moonlight and like their hues of like the deep, the deep ocean colors. Uh, her armor is adorned with like ancient runes of lunar deities. Um, it, the gaze that she like the gaze, the vibes that she puts off are very chill, very the gay. Gaze, the gaze, and the she's, she is also very gay. Um, <laughs> she has beautiful blue skin, um, fin like ears, gray eyes, um, and very like light blue gray hair. We love a sea elf. <laughs> uh, again, pictures of her in in NPCs. Um, she's a triton. She is a triton. <gasps> Wait, where is she? What do you do? Uh, nice. She's in front of Lysandra's door, guarding. She's it. guarding it. She's mm-hmm. standing there, all hot and <laughs> sapphic. She is. She is lean. She's leaned back against the door, kind of just like filing her nails. Should we do a distraction? Mm-hmm. Does anyone have? Like, can can any of you disguise yourselves? I can make an image. <gasps> Can you make an image down the hall and, and get her to go? And then I'll I'll hit it with, I'll, we'll open the door and we'll just like sneak in and then close the door. And it's like, she'll never even know that we went in there. Yeah. I mean, she wouldn't be able to, I, I think because she would, she won't see it, but maybe I can make a sound and then make an image that she'll see down the hallway. So what would um, be the one thing that would make her leave her station? Well, I could be Lady Lysandra again. Yeah. Worked before. Yeah. Um, Far so enough I'm that like... we have enough time to like, run, like Scooby-Doo over there. Yeah. So I want to I wanna cast Minor Illusion again to do the same voice saying help down the hallway as far as, you know, just so that she knows what direction it's coming from. Okay. Um, And then um, right before I can see her coming down the hallway, I'm going to cast minor illusion again to um show lady lysandra lying in the hallway in a pool of blood Ooh, oh damn okay Dark. okay um i'm gonna happy I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna see i'm gonna roll i'm gonna roll i'm gonna see if she she believes this okay i'm mm-hmm. doing it's just straight luck for you guys right now fucking falls for it hook line and sinker so Oh, I just cast like three spells. You did just cast like three spells. Uh, <laughs> Wait, were they cantrips or were they leveled spells? Minor uh, illusions is a is a cantrip, right? 
It's a cantrip, right? But then you, you should be good. You had a special rule for me. Oh. So. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 But cantrips oh, count. Yeah. <gasps> yep. Oh, she's no. she's going up to she she goes up to ten, I think, and then you'll you'll do wild magic. Um, right. I didn't roll any in that one, so we're yeah. we're good. So. Yeah, you get to the door. It is locked. What do you do? Knock. I I take my booby smelling. Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Huh? We should let Rosalind do it because knock is really loud, isn't it? Is it? It's really yeah. loud. It's called, it's called knock. Oh, I did. I didn't know that. Oh, I roll it back up. <laughs> <laughs> I I just thought it magically opened doors. <laughs> I did too, honestly. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm sorry. Making lock. Unlock the door. Making a lock. I pick a lock. That's fine. Slide a hand. Slide a hand. Do that. Totally do that. Yeah, give me do a second. Do it as fast as you can. Uh, okay. No, no pressure. No pressure. Shut up. 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 That's not that's not enough to open the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're all gonna <laughs> die. Can you can, try again. You can try again. It's a disadvantage. Guidance. I know, I get it, I get it, I get but it. But you I have guidance. It. So you can I add a D4 to that. that first time. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> ah! you, you got this, Rosalind. You got this. Oh my god. Oh no. No. Oh no. What? No. <laughs> That's a natural one. Fuck it. Oh, I knock we're it. We're done. Yeah. You, your it. tool breaks in Bust. the actual yeah, door. Yeah, I'll have to get it. Uh, I'll have to get a new one. I Delphra, nudge. I, oh, sorry. Delphra, do you have an idea? Delphra just drops to the floor and uses her last face step going through the door and opening it. <laughs> Delphra, the, the tool breaks. Delphra's gone. And I then feel the like door. Sin was like slow motion with the knock spell. <laughs> yeah. And then the door goes click and just, just and like, I stop. And then opens. <laughs> <laughs> I roll it's it like, uh, <laughs> You guys coming? In. At this point, you guys have to like, you guys have to tumble in. Tumble in. Get, like getting board. in as fast as you can because <laughs> it's at this moment where selena's going this is a fake image this isn't real and then he has um, both cappy and clover in under one hand and it's just like two baseball <laughs> baseball diving into the door and yes. Emily, you do realize cappy is four feet tall <laughs> she doesn't care she's, she's like, like, quiet <laughs> she's still a lap puppy funny you <laughs> all right so sin knows we have limited time she is quickly looking for an exit that is like a window or something and also like assuming clover knows what we're looking for but let sin me, is going to start looking for an exit let me read you the description and then we will we will go from there so okay. lysandra's office is an extension of her being it's orderly. It's tranquil. It's suffused with a soft sil silver light that seems to emanate from the walls itself. Um, book sh she has bookshelves filled with ancient tomes that line the walls. And a large ornate desk sits centrally atop a rug woven with like lunar motifs. Um, the air is scented with a hint of jasmine and a feeling of like peace once you step in there, almost as if like there's a spell that might make you just chill the moment you walk in there chill. um <laughs> uh behind the desk hung upon the wall is a portrait of the high priestess herself um it's awkward massive That's weird um like that. it's a weird it's a master it's like it's beautiful representation of her likeness uh you know it captures her serene yet commanding presence uh it depicts her full like in full regalia with symbols of the moon and all of that in that picture um her eyes seem to like follow you it's like that that kind of painting um perception checks if you are looking for things Yes. Uh, sin Why are my rolls so bad? Okay, I'm switching to real <laughs> dice. I got a 17. Uh, I got a 12. 24. I'm looking for an. I'm looking for an exit. Oh yeah, I can't 17. see shit. Okay. Nine. And that 20. 
20. Okay, we're all rolling real well. Okay. Six. Six. So, nah, you're just yeah, like nothing. happy that you got in there and really pissed <laughs> that, that your uh your tool broke. My tools are broken. You have you have more than one tool. You have a bunch. She's very distracted. She's trying to put them back together and like see if she has any like tools to like <laughs> weld. Does it? she have like a little baby welding tool <laughs> set? Like, like I don't have it. I just checked. I don't I don't okay. have it either. Uh Sin. Yes. What'd you roll? Uh twelve. Twelve. Okay. So with the high rolls that you guys have, um in the corner of the room on is a window. On a on the window cell is like a wood pot with a vine with like a viney plant in it, um, next to like a watering can. On the desk, you guys are like all you guys have like spread out. You're all like rifling through things and like looking for everything that you can get right now. Um, on the desk, there's a container of chalk, <clears throat> um, and a stack of papers that kind of like go over the daily goings on in the temple, um, and. I'm going to say with the 24 Clover, you find um, a correspondence with some, with like a historian um, with the name of E.R. Uh, with, with the name of E. Ravencrest. Um, and they talk about uh, a sister named Aurora and, uh, and how well she's doing at the temple. Um, with all of that, Wait, I'm going to say. do I, does, does that tickle in my ears i mean do you show anybody this paper clover oh sorry yeah i guess that's true i i cannot hear you <laughs> uh, is it working yes yeah my mic pulls that trick sometimes sorry um if, if I look at this paper and see that it seems relevant to what's going on, as soon as I see that it's relevant, I'll say, hey, everyone, come read this. It's the only correspondence you see on the desk. Um, Sin, yeah. Mm. You know the name. You know the names being mentioned. I'm just like, oh, that, that name's awfully close to another name. Did I pronounce it wrong? Aurora. Aurora. Okay, I wasn't sure. Aurora. It is Aurora. <laughs> okay. I wasn't Mabi. sure. That that's the only reason why I asked. I wasn't sure if I should be listening. Is this about me? Yeah. Um, so you see it's it's no, it's talking no, no one else talking. knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> it's just talking about uh how you you're doing really well at the temple. Um wait, what, what is the date? What is this dated? Yeah. When is this dated? This yeah. is actually dated from like a couple of weeks ago. Before we went out on our mission? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, <laughs> it's uh, E. Ravencrest. Am I reading? Did I just go? Yeah, I totally didn't make that up for Ravencrest. Yeah. Yes. Um, so either lady lysandra or either nixaria was forging this correspondence two weeks ago or lady lysandra was lady lysandra two weeks ago is there is there a change in hand in handwriting no I don't, i'm not even gonna make you roll with the with the rules that you guys got like the high rolls no these are all written in lady lady lysandra's hand um and i'm gonna say also with the high roll uh 17 I'm going to say you were looking at the po the portrait and um, you notice like you bumped it or something. You notice that uh, it moves just slightly and there's kind of like a like maybe a chalk or something on the wall behind it. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do? Yeah, I'm going to pull that portrait off the wall or open yeah. it or wherever. Can we have our Goliath just like rip the wall, rip it off the wall? Like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go do strong things, muscle mommy. Anemone. Anemone is at the door, actually. Um, she's she's trying to see if Celine has come anywhere close to the door. So she's she's locked. Once the door was locked, she just stationed herself there with her her blade ready to go out. Um, 
keeping track of her sister's movements behind her. She hear, hears information of what Clover is saying, but she's like, anything could go down at any moment. And I got to protect my sisters physically because that's what I'm good at. And Aww. so she's, she's, she's there. And she's also looking around the room, just scoping to see what she can use as a shield in case she needs to pull something out. Give me a uh, Rosalind is not a shield. No, 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 no. Actually, Give me a perception check. I would like to use this moment then to use my action, I suppose. I need to summon my packed weapon uh, since I don't know if things are going to go bad and I don't want to waste a turn. So as all this is happening, I'm just going to kind of like put my hands straight up in the my, the air and you see the shadows and light kind of like stuck in and coalesce into what appears to be a very moon motifed longbow and i hold like i it gathers into my hand and then i'm going to kind of like hang it (laughs) around my neck so like the string is across my chest and like a cute little quiver that's also moon motifed is gonna like (laughs) form on my back with some like arrows and these arrows are like glowy kind of like white they're, it's really cute. It's 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 quite. It's uh, very Sailor aesthetically Moon. pleasing. It's yeah. so aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> uh, but I'm just like, you never know. <laughs> uh, Seventeen on the perception check. Okay. Uh, you hear at some point you do hear her come back and stand in front of the door again. Okay, we gotta be very quiet, everybody. Um, uh, Anemone is going to gesture towards Rosalind um, with her eyes because I think. Both Anemone and Rosalind at some point have sparred a little bit together at just some point. And she's sure, going, I'll go with that. She, she's going to just do the hand single. I feel like Rosalind's going to be like, this thing, like the stuff, like totally expecting her to understand everything she means. <laughs> yes, 100%. Uh, so who's dealing with the portrait? You are. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's you use all of your strength because it's a fairly decent sized portrait and just shove it to the side. Um, and quietly as possible, as quiet, (laughs) 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 like just (laughs) that that fucking. Um, so when you move the portrait, you find um, the stone wall behind it. Uh, there's faint chalk outlines on the wall. Uh, give me an arcana check and i'm going to tell you the dc is 15 here can i i got a 22 i didn't fuck me (laughs) (laughs) you don't need it um okay so with the 22 you can see a faint magical residue on the faded chalk lines on the wall and it looks like the same magic is coming out of uh is coming from a particular piece of chalk in that container on Lysandra's desk. Um, you also notice, because you rolled incredibly well, that there is magic coming from the plant and the wooden pot on the windowsill. What would you like to do? I think I'm going to grab that chalk. Um, do I recognize the symbols or are they too erased? So you see that it's sort of, it's kind of outlining where the portrait was. I want to grab the chalk and Mm -hmm. trace the symbols on the wall. So you outline. Whatever that, whatever I can see that's there, I basically want to redraw it. Okay, cool. So here's, here's what happens. Is, Is anyone doing anything else while this is happening? I'm calling Quartzly because, like, I'm just looking at her tracing freaking things on the walls, and I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Quartzly appears behind you. Um, all nine tails, like, fan out like he's a, a freaking, um, what are those birds called? Peacock? 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 Yeah, peacock. Ah, <laughs> oh, bird. I think Sin uh. would be looking for any hints or traces of Nixarian influence okay uh whatever that religion means check. oh fuck i don't think i put any points into religion i did not it's a zero it's a plus zero i forgot i was supposed to roll this with my real dice i rolled a nine sorry nine 
I'm like, uh, no, everything looks good. I mean, good. it's a nice office. It's chill. You, it's all Luna vibes, right? I feel like um, I'm getting high on the incense. Like, mm. you're chill. You're vo- like the, I the start calm emotion spell is just going over you. Uh, is anyone else doing anything else? Is that oh, it? By the way, the pot and the plant are both magical. Somebody should check those out. So um, you then draw investigate the pot. this line. So what you do is you out, you're basically drawing a door on the wall. And um, as you do that and you jump over and look at these uh, pot, this pot and plant, roll me Arcana as well. Oh, good at Arcana. Can I guidance myself? You can guidance yourself. I should have asked you for a guidance, damn it. While this is happening, could I also make a quick insight check to see if the guard's outside? Perception. No perception. Um, Arcana 23. 23. You, because this is happening simultaneously, you don't have time to stop what's about to happen, but you realize that that's not just an ordinary pot and plant. That's, that's, those are, those are defense mechanisms. And as that's, um, as Cappy finishes drawing this door, they spring to life. Uh, what was your, what was your perception? 14. 14. She's outside. <laughs> so, uh, this could get real bad real fast, guys. Um, are you doing anything with that information? Um, I will hiss over to Rosalind and look back mm-hmm. and see what's happening over with Clover and do the change of plans motions that we've kind of figured out over because yeah. she's trying to teach me Thieves Kid and I'm like mixing up the symbols, but it, I mean, You're it like, makes sense. Do you know that I've never <laughs> once used, ever said that I'm using Thieves Kid in the entire oh. time I've been playing D&D? I always play rogues for the most part. Never mention it. I always forget it exists. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, what quickly to like trying to figure out how to say you're just flailing you're just start yeah. flailing. you're, you're <laughs> just like flailing yeah. all of us uh, know what Russell's that means like i don't understand what's happening uh this is not what have... we talked about man this is not it uh, but, uh, on the wall you have this like uh these this chalk outline of a door that's glowing <laughs> and from the pot and the plant jump up two constructs. One is a wooden construct and the other one is a vine construct. Um, and I'm gonna have everyone roll for initiative. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> okay, can I just say, I just got my first nat 20 and it is on something that is so that unbelievably sucks. pointless. I got a 20. I will let you go t- twice. You will have a surprise round. So, uh, I hate so that and it makes nice me so to mad. It. So nat so nat twenty. What's what's the full thing? Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay, perfect. Uh, Rosalind. Um, sorry, I was looking for my token to like actually get her. Delphra. Ba, 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 ba. There's 17. no map for this. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. I've been embracing uh, okay. the mapless combat lately. It's just kind of freeing, actually. I I do theater of the mind most of the time if it's particularly complicated you'll get a map or if it's a it's a bbeg 20 20 30 Perfect. 20 30 20 before okay. we get like heavy into combat can we use the ladies room yes uh Hello, so s- clover 11 11 um cappy 11 11 who's got the higher decks i'm plus two um I am also plus two. 14. All right. Roll, so roll these. Eight, roll these. 14. Roll these. Yeah. These. Roll off. <laughs> two. Uh, two. Probably Kathy. <laughs> yeah. Um, 15. 15. Okay. So we'll put you at 12. Uh, Anemone. Oh, it's a natural one plus three. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So you're panicking. That's okay. Uh, they. I'm gonna put them okay. Um, why don't you? We're gonna take a quick, like, two minute break, 
Everyone run off to the bathroom and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, I have to count that out. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh my right. gosh. So, <laughs> end of the Scarlet battle. is getting drunk. So <laughs> is so is Meg. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, let's 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 start our combat. Um, Sin, you get to go twice, and you are at the top of the round. Like twice in a row. Yeah. Jesus you get Christ. because you rolled a nat twenty. You're gonna go. You're gonna go first and then you're you're our dm our dm is a generous one okay so i think that because sin was on the lookout for a way out she immediately noticed these little plant things uh she is going to use her hex blades curse on you said there was a tree one and a vine one right yeah she's gonna so yeah there's there's a wood one and a vine one and they just jumped off they're like right right in front of how big are they uh, they are they're both medium constructs okay i just tell you what they are too cool okay (laughs) she's gonna back the fuck up and she is going to like i don't know grasp the air above her head and point to the vine one and cast her hex blades curse uh this means that for a minute or until it dies or i die uh I gain plus two bonus to damage rolls and I can crit on a 19 or a 20. Uh, and if it dies, I get five uh, HP. So it's okay. like a it's like a hunter's mark kind of thing. So that's my bonus action. And then I don't I don't think it changes. No, it doesn't change if it if I dies. I can't move it like a hunter's mark. Okay. After I've done that, I am going to plop off my beautiful moon motif bow. Uh, and I'm going to draw the string and it's going to start glowing with like a moonlight white light and a arrow is going to form with like little strands of moonlight energy. And I'm just going to say like in, in Elvish, like Fla Anaris, which is like for Luna. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Fla Anaris for Luna. For Luna. Uh, and I'm going to shoot it with my longbow. Um which is going to be a 20. It says it says a 19, but um because I have a plus one due to my thing, um, I don't think it added that. So it should be a 20, a dirty 20. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Wait, did you roll a 19? I rolled I rolled oh, okay. I got a 19, but because of my uh incantation, it should be a plus one. It should act as a plus one weapon. So I'm just asking if you crit. Oh, let me oh my good. Oh shoot. You critted yeah. a 19 or 20, right? Yeah, but it was a dirty, it was dirty. Hold on, let me look. Let me just make sure. No, it was a 14. I rolled a 14 on the die. Thank you so much, Cappy. You are a star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me roll the dice. Uh, 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 Damage. I know. Ooh, max down. <laughs> okay, so 11, 12, 13, 14 piercing damage. So you let out this arrow, you hit it out of nowhere. Like you're the first to react. You've, you're going twice, and you hear <laughs> as you hit it, it makes like an awful freaking noise. Uh, and you can go again. Okay, now. I have another spell, which is Hex, so it's a different kind of Hex. (laughs) Let me see what it does real quick. Uh, I deal an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to the target. Um, If it drops to zero, then I can move it to another. Okay, cool. I'm going to use my bonus action again and again, and then I'm going to point to it and go, Falabalala, which is (laughs) Elvish for I Hex you again. And I'm actually going to (laughs) cast Hex, which is different from Hexblade's Curse. Uh, We're we're double hexing. Oh, shoot. I don't know why that rolled a die. Um, So then I'm going to take my longbow and I'm going to roll. I'm going to longbow it up again. Uh, oh, I got a 22. 22 hits. Okay. That is going to do uh 11 plus let me do the hex damage 11 plus four necrotic so that would be 15 total damage i don't it i split it up for if it has resistances or anything like that 
And then I'm going to like back up into an area of the office where I have a clear shot of them and have plenty of room to do this shit. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's goddamn. Okay, uh, Rosalind, what are you doing? I shoot something. Turn. I shoot it. Okay. Shoot, shoot do you want to fight? Do you want to shoot the vine golem or do you want to shoot the wooden golem? Um, I'm um, I'm attacking um, the vine one right now. If you want to help right, me, I'm gonna just go finish with, it off. Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent, all day, every day. Unless I don't hit with a seven, <laughs> um, probably didn't hit him. You have guidance? Can, no, that's for saving throws. Nope. Hang on, let me check and see. Did anyone? No, it's just guidance. That's all you have. All right. So yeah, you miss. You miss. I, I know. am so sorry. I put that together. Okay. I'm gonna hide though. Okay, you just duck sister. under the desk. You want to give me a? Do you want to give me yeah. a stealth check? Yes, ma'am. Twenty-four. That I'm good at. Yeah, you're gone. <laughs> Your sisters don't even know where you are. Nope. Where the fuck she? I'm know? like. Where did you? Oh no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, and you just hear I'm so here. Hi, oh, Ro- Rosalind. <laughs> You are like the night. It is very admirable. <laughs> I feel like my mage hand is hiding next to you. You feel Probably. like a little. It's She's like a no. little spider. No, no. It no, like no. starts crawling at you. No. <laughs> Speaking of our little vine golem, uh, it it's his turn, and it has, I believe, a little kitty right in front of it. Yeah, uh, I was in melee with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you were. And it's going to make two thorn vine attacks on you. So it just, you see kind of just like bulk up and all these vines kind of like ching, 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 ching uh, out of it. And we're going to roll to see if it hits. So. I have my little kitty shield out. Non-magical. I'm going to say a 10 doesn't hit, right? You've got much higher armor, nope. right? Okay, cool. This yeah. one will probably hit. It's a 22. Yeah, definitely hits. Okay, so. How dare you? Just shoots these little uh, spikes at you. It's going to do nine piercing damage. And then I need you to make. I need you to make a DC 14 strength saving throw. I'm not good at strength. Okay. You're just a widow kitty. Oh. Fuck, that was a 14 on the die, minus one. So oh, 13. No. <laughs> okay, so you so are now pulled in to it. And uh, hang on. I think there's a moment where okay. Cappy's like uh, thinking, like remembering that she had once an ability to help you with that and then realizes that that has been taken from oh, her. No. Oh, no. <laughs> You're even you like pulled she, in towards it. Okay. The GM give it giveth and the GM take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Am I grappled? Uh not yet. That's okay. not yet. Am I grappled is so funny to me because I was in a campaign where we had a monk who had so many he needed to be grappled to use some cool abilities. And he kept asking <laughs> in situations where he wasn't grappled, but am I grappled? Am I grappled right now? And we were all just like <laughs> No, you're not grappled. <laughs> my rogue became, with alert. Hashtag, I can't be surprised. Hashtag, am I grappled? <laughs> uh, Sorry. Delphra. Uh, so, how close is Clover to this vine golem? Five feet. Like, five feet, eh? Yeah, like they're, they're face to face. Well, I mean, they're like ankle to face. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to uh, produce flame and throw it at the vine golem. Okay. Uh, you produce flame, you throw it at the... You gotta roll to hit, right? Yeah, uh, 22. 22, 22, 22. 22 will hit. Uh, hang on. It is... Saving throws. Never mind. Go. Uh, and that's three damage. Three damage. You every bit counts. 
<laughs> you know what? I'll here's what I'll give you with that. As you watch it kind of like light up for a second there, and it should it's a plant, like it should be fairly uh flammable. You realize you see like a little bit of a magical shimmer and and uh and realize that maybe maybe it's it's got some decent magical resistances or uh yeah, the magical resistances um, going on. As my bonus action, I'm gonna look at Quartzly and say fetch. And on <laughs> Quartzly's turn, uh, he's going to run up to Clover at grab her scruff and a uh, fiery <laughs> teleport 15 feet away. A hundred percent. Quartzly, like the badass motherfucker that he is, just uh like confuses it jumps in front and confuses the vine golem with its like tails it does like a magical peacocky dance and then teleports away um but it does need to make a dex saving throw of 13 okay oh okay um let's see it rolled a 16 on the dice damn so it doesn't take damage it like it's vines it just kind of like you see them all kind of like come apart and it dodges the flame there completely. Uh, is that your whole turn? Yes. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Cappy. What is going on with this line I drew on the wall? It is glowing right now and becoming a door. It is not yet a door. Not yet a door. And you kind I have of, no uh, idea where it goes. You do not know. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I will, since it hasn't happened yet, I am going to go ahead and twin spell, uh, Rhea Frost against both. Both. Okay, cool. Roll the hit. Um, so that's a 17. For which one? Um, vine that's or for the wood. vine. And then okay, yep. a 15 for the wood. Both hit. Okay, so uh, three damage and seven damage. Three and seven. What are you? What are you? What are your things? Uh, 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 uh. Friends, I think we need to go through this door as soon as possible. As soon I'll as it's ready, it. really. I'll. By the time it gets around to you, the door will be made. So one more. Like, it's got to go around to you again. Mm -hmm. um, is that your turn? Um, and then I'll just, I think I'm probably right up against the door, but just to make sure I'll, I'll I don't want to be close to the, the golem. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So you like take a step back mm -hmm. and okay. Cool, 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 cool. Clover. Um, okay. So now that I am 15 feet away from it, thank you very much, Delphra. Um, I'm going to like cower in a corner. Um, oh, baby. The vine golem, the white, the vine golem is the one that is looking more hurt at the moment. I believe. Yes. yes. Um, Delphra, did you or did did the rest of us notice this magical resistance thing, or or like did you share that at all with us? Uh, I'm gonna say I shared it. Yes, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. In that case, I'm going to <laughs> pull my crossbow out. God knows where a cat keeps a crossbow, but I'm <laughs> going to pull my crossbow out um, and attempt to shoot it with my crossbow. Can we just say um, you like think about what item you want to summon and just a bunch just of exists. twinkly lights just like make it appear? And you have like uh, you do... have a cat collar of holding. <laughs> <laughs> perfect because we did have a thing like where my my boots of elven kind are like a little charm on my collar like a like a yeah. charm bracelet um so yeah maybe maybe that's um so i actually rolled a nat 20 for 24 total um on oh that. shit yeah it, um, that that obviously hits like double this damage beautiful um okay so in that case that's 2d8 plus 2 7 plus 4 is 11 so 13 total um piercing damage total piercing damage let's see here da, 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 da. okay cool is that a magical weapon yes you all have i remember saying that you guys all had magical weapons they just didn't have pluses to them yes cool perfect oh we do have magical weapons okay cool yeah you hit it twice and like the 
center mass of these vines and you notice that like pieces are starting to fall off uh it's it's looking bloodied um uh and plants bleed <laughs> well i'm I telling have, you that it's bloodied it's as looking in, like sappy it, it's looking chloroform. It's chlor- leaking the chloroform. no it's not it's not chloroform, chloroform. it's not chloroform. <laughs> what kind of plants do you <laughs> wow <laughs> Apparently, someone's in labor right now and they need that- some chloroform. <laughs> hey, um, oh, is that oh your, my gosh. your turn? Uh, no, bonus action spiritual <laughs> weapon. So, um, because oh, we yeah. are dealing with a, a plant um, and a wooden thing, my spiritual weapon is going to take <laughs> the form of a um a an axe like to chop down these plants okay. um and it's going to be and it it shines um uh, with a glow like it comes from the moon like a soft silver blue kind of light um so i'm going to attempt to i know it's magic but let's give it a shot anyway to spiritual weapon hit with a what's that a 19 does that hit yeah beautiful um for another 6 damage Six damage. So and that's, that's radiant and damage. That's 12 damage. What? Wait. Radiant? 12? What, 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 what type of damage does, does an axe do? Oh, well, it's, it's radiant damage from a spiritual weapon. That's fair. Okay, never mind. I'll take that away. No, I'm not going to do that. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> it, it's barely holding on, guys. Uh, let's see here after Clover, it is our little wooden golem and who is closest to it? You moved away. You're by the door. Uh, the closest one would probably be Cappy. So your, the wooden one's going to move 15 feet over to you and, um, it's going to make two slam attacks. So it just kind of like tries to tackle you. (laughs) <laughs> it's like a oh it has two peg legs and it's like not very sturdy it's actually really cute um and and it's like do 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 and and when it attacks you it's really just it's swinging around and not and trying to keep its balance uh and that's gonna be can so we adopt it <laughs> it's yeah. so cute right uh so we have a 22 to hit and that's not gonna hit at all does it, 22 okay. hits i'm assuming yeah uh, yeah of course of course yeah okay cool 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 cool, cool. So, oh fuck and my man. um ac is only 13 because i haven't cast mage armor today okay um oh that i just rolled the hit again i don't need to do that uh seven damage and that's that's its turn as it it kind of flails trying to regain its balance hmm. uh anemone Anemone, how far away is Anemone from Cappy right now? Uh, she's across the room from you. So about 30 feet, 60 feet? Yes. Anemone is going to look at the door, look at the wooden, and be like, ah. Um, she is, um... At this what? point, the door starts jiggling. <laughs> Fuck the door. Um, that, that, that is where we're at the door uh she is going to huh there's a couple things she could do she is going to run to where cappy is she's going to use her her action to dash to where cappy is okay and then she's going to bonus action second wing no action search okay I don't think action surge is a that? bonus action. It's just you no, get to do just it an for action. free. Just do it. Yeah, yeah you can just you just do, do that. It for free. Okay. Um, and then she's going to just action surge, so she can hit this wooden thing. Is that possible? It's because I took an action to dash. Why? So that why takes my are movement you dashing to get to Cappy. She's thirty feet away. Oh, okay. Then I'm not doing that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, bonus action to rage. Rah! Okay, you rage. Like yeah. to rage. I would like to rage. Um, great. Get mad. Gosh, it's been a while since I've played Barbarian. Okay, uh, she's gonna hit with her Void Strike Wade. Not 20? Yes. 
Nat 20 plus four. Hey! And oh, um, hell yes. <laughs> she's using it two handed because she's like, fuck the door, two handed. Okay. Um, Let's do this. And also, thank you, Adelpha, for the guidance. Um, can I use? No, I can't use guidance on that. That's okay. No. Uh, Don't forget to add your rage bonus to the damage, yeah. though. Yeah, I think that's plus two, plus four. We'll see. I, Daniel, if you're screaming shit, I can't. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> well, here, here's yeah. the thing. Here's the, here's here's the here's the worst part of this. In her rage, she rolled a one. <laughs> Uh, plus two, so three points of damage. Okay. The yep. Did you roll it twice? Just the oh right. It's I, you, it's not, not twenty. 20. Not twenty. Um, three plus four plus two, so ten. Yes, that sounds right. Nine. I rolled a four. No, yeah, nine. Nine makes more sense. Three plus four yeah, plus nine. two. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nine. 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 Okay, cool, Nine points cool, cool. of slashing Nine. damage. Yes. Perfect. And, she, and she's saying, back off. Get your own sandwich. Get your own... Go back to sleep. Get Would your not... own stew. No, no, no. Yeah, that. Get your own stew. Um. Okay, Sin. All right. Is our Viney boy still up? Our Viney boy is still up, but barely. Okay, I am going to pull another moonlight aesthetic as fuck arrow into my bow. And I am going to roll uh, eight. eight. He does not hit, no. <laughs> I, I'm like too worried about the aesthetic and I kind of like catch a glimpse of myself in a mirror, <laughs> like in my reflection in like the glass of a, a You're picture. You're like, oh, I look so and cool. I go, oh, um, oh, okay. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> um, hex, does your hex do anything to that? No, uh, my hex only works when I actually damage it. Mm. Yeah, it's like a hunter's mark, you know? Uh, <laughs> it's just you have two, so I'm like, you gotta do something. Yeah, it no, does okay, a lot cool. of damage if I hit. Shit. If I hit. All right. All right. Well, that's my turn. Roz. Rinse and repeat. See if it works this Wait, time. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Guidance. Everyone has guidance. You can add no guidance. You can't add guidance to an attack roll, Daniel. It's just skill stuff. <laughs> uh, it's it's saving, <laughs> saving throws and skill checks. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Russ. I love how somehow, somehow that's his fault. Also, anyway. guidance. He just sent up. Guidance? He just sent up a, a a message going. Everyone has guidance, and I'm like, yes. Thank you. Guidance also yeah. is technically an action. So if you're in the 20. midst of combat, you can't just be that like that hits. I let you. I said in in chat that you guys can do it as reactions. Guidance. Yes, I allow guidance and bardic as reactions. Okay, those are reactions are like special you. though. You know, like. You 11. Know, just... <clears throat> 11 points of damage 11 points of damage it's dead it's Gee. super dead it yes. dies like screaming ah! and then yes. like falls apart and it is no more and becomes like it's a little dandelion uh is that your turn i'm gonna i'm gonna stealth again you're gonna stealth so again. that i can get stealth again okay roll stealth it's stealth is stealth you, you're very pushy I you know what? am trying to do this. It's fine. Also, ah, 21. 21? Yes, you are hidden, yeah. and everyone has Bardic from Daniel e as well. Daniel, shut the Ooh, fuck up and get out of here. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, It's dead. It's super dead. You're hidden. Delphra. That's me. That's you. There is a wooden pot left on peg legs. I'm gonna... Do the same thing and produce flame on it. <laughs> the face every time that you like. Yes. What do you do? Let's see. My face. What did I do? Who? How? Uh, Anemone's face every time on peg legs. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck off. It doesn't what? hit. What'd you get? A one. Oh, no. That definitely doesn't hit at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. At, at all. At what about all. Coarsely? 
Quartzly, 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 Quartzly is going to flame seed. And we're going to use a different dice because I only have 20 d20s here. So it's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. okay. That hits. It's a 23, I would hope. Yeah, that definitely hits. All right. And that's going to be an eight flame eight, fire damage. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah. So that's 16 damage. It's, it's, it's vulnerable, guys. Vulnerable to fire. It's wood. Mm -hmm. nice oh cappy good good thing all right as your turn rolls around here the door that you drew in the in the stone appears do i see anything through it there's a whole room in there in through the door yeah there's a whole room in there it it is i'll i can describe it to you right now if you like it is a it's a square and I believe it's 30 feet. I'm totally not even looking in the right area. So that's cool. Um, do you know what an orrery is? Like an that owl? Birds live? No, not it's an aviary. Um, oh. So uh, it's like a mechanical like um, thing of the universe. Of the solar system universe. Oh, so right. you like they like right, little balls right. on the, on the uh, wires and they go around. Okay. It's a giant one of those in there. And I will describe it in better detail later. Ooh. Is there an exit from this other room? There does not seem to be. All right. I will still I will um uh I'll I'll hit the um <clears throat> I'll try and hit the wooden uh golem with the with uh Sorry, with Chaos Bolt before I head into the door. Okay. Uh, 12. A 12 does not hit. Okay. Is there anything else that you are doing? Um, I actually think I'm going to make that hit or try to. Um, so I'm going to use Tides of Chaos. And you also have again. Bardic. Oh, that's right. I have Bardic. You have okay, a decent. I'm going to use that. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, okay. So 16? 16 hits. Okay. So that was 11 damage. 11 damage. 11 and it's, damage. Um, what was it? I, I it's chaos gold. So what did you get? Yeah, I it's I don't want to use psychic. So. Oh, it's fire. It's fire damage. Psychic? Okay, so uh nothing. No, happens. it's no no no. I I it got I got psychic and fire. So I'm going with fire. Ooh. That's not how that works. Yes, it is. You roll, you get the two d8s, you choose which one uh, which kind of damage you use. You have to choose which dice is your whatever before that. And then you roll that and and that's, that's fine. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about this one later. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll let you do fire damage. How much is it? Uh, it was 11 fire damage. 11 fire damage. So you just incinerate it and it, it dies horribly. Its little peg legs are the only thing that is left of it. Um. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad about it. <laughs> you guys are out of combat. For the next two turns. Oh. Um, before something very strong is about to burst through that door. I see that a way out has appeared before us, sisters. <laughs> I bolt. Delphra just like runs. She's like, fuck like Scooby Doo run all the way in there. Uh, <laughs> so you guys fly into the, that the orrery? Orrery? Yeah. Yep. Yes. I can't even say that. Aurori. 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 I every time you all say that I wince. The Aurori. Uh, 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 let's see here. <laughs> so you at the moment that you guys step into this room, the wall reappears behind you and you have no more door. Um as you step into this room. A hush kind of falls over you. The air tingles with magic. 
before you sound, stands an ori, ori, a, a mechanical model of the solar system. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's, its rings and spheres are poised in stillness, bathed in the ghostly light filtering from the ceiling. Perception check. You know, I'm going to use one of my real dice for that. Got a 14. <laughs> 14. Awesome. 23. Ooh, terrible. 23. Terrible. Okay. Okay. 14. 14. Okay. Okay. 18. Okay. Do, we, oh. do we still have guidance? Ten. Oh, you yeah. did. Uh, so 18. 18. Oh, 11. Um, <laughs> didn't Delphi, help. Do, do we still have guidance? Yeah, there's guidance. You everyone got a guidance in the chat. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. For the first time in her life. She got Yay! Uh uh 17. A first 17. time in oh, her I'm life. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. So you you know what? You guys all rolled really well and you beat both of the, the checks that I was gonna ask you to roll. So with that, all of you see that around the room, uh so there's there's um there's an armchair in the corner of the room. This orrery, uh, this by the way, is massive. It takes up most of this room, and it's like a thirty foot by thirty foot room square, and it takes up most of this room. And in the corner, there is a uh, like a plush armchair with a robe thrown over it, and you recognize immediately that this is a uh, the robe of a lunar priestess. Um, with the other check, uh, one of you, I'm assuming, like you. you picks up the robe and inside you find uh you find a piece of parchment with um with a script on it does anyone read celestial i have comprehend languages as a spell if no one can I, read celestial i have a i have a potion bro you read too, celestial you'd rather not use your spell do spell? i is that what oh that you is, read I, celestial sorry <laughs> i do i read celestial <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the weird languages i know i forgot nice <laughs> i read celestial i recognize those runes they seem to be of the upper planes allow me Whoosh. what doth my <laughs> what was that when you're tearing your shirt open what no was that was my billow i read with them i, I billow my cloak oh guys i have a cloak and i billow it like a fucking vampire um <laughs> I'm going to have to get you a, a, the billowing cloak. Uh, <laughs> I just billow. just That's me just <laughs> gliding over. And I'm just like, I read Celestial. I forgot for a moment because I know the comprehend language sk- spell. So I don't keep track of which languages I know naturally. <laughs> uh, it says on this script, it says moon's light, eternal turn, reveal the hidden, unfold the path. The fucking riddle. Listen, <laughs> you and your riddles, man. Yeah, I reveal the hidden. Reveal the hidden. I start looking around. The fuck is hidden around here? <laughs> Did you say moonlight, eternal turn? Moon's that- light, eternal turn. Reveal the hidden, unfold the path. Is there a moon so, on this whole gyroscope of a contraption? Give what you notice <laughs> is that there are multiple ways for you to um to position the moon in this ori so that it goes through different phases. Does it, uh, like, is it in a circle? Like, is it, can it turn all the way around? Okay, so Delphra is going to just, like, running speed, jump, grab a hold of the wire that's holding the moon, and just start spinning it around continuously. Woo! Woo! Uh, okay. I hope you're having fun, love. But I am! Do you see anything? It's very easy to go. You see, uh, the other girls actually see the moon start changing and going through each moon cycle and moon phase. Um... Does anyone want to roll me a history or an arcana check? I'll roll. Uh, I can do that. Sure. I can do that. Uh, I can do that too. Though. I got an eighteen arcana. Eighteen, perfect. That's that's 
I got more than 19 enough. history. So 18. And history. Okay, so <laughs> with the history, you know that this specific model is used to track the lunar cycles. Um, with the Arcana, you know that I'm going to say that you put together that you're supposed to you're supposed to choose the correct moon phase for this uh for this ori to like undo unfurl the path could you repeat the riddle moon's light eter- uh eternal turn reveal the hidden unfold the path cry the full moon love Delphur just turns until you, it's at the full moon. Eventually, like, you're, you're like, like, you know, like when you're on the monkey bars and you have to like swing. <laughs> you, that's yeah. what you end up doing. Uh, <laughs> you go to the full moon. Oh. So. Da, 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 da. What is this? So you guys, um, not correctly. I have so many notes here. I, I need, I, I, I need silvery light bathes through bathes the room and all of you are about to take a d10 of radiant damage as That's the gross. moon be- as a as a lesser version of the moonbeam spell is cast upon you um oh, somebody roll me a d10. somebody roll you a d10 is this I to find out how here. much damage whoever's been yes. rolling the lowest i got a roll. one I got a freaking one. Okay. I will turn my camera to show. Guys. All of you I, take one one I got radiant damage. One. Delta, she picks it I up like you. that's exactly how that works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ouch. I go, okay. oh, I forgot my umbrella and my sun, my moon block. <laughs> <laughs> I have like the whitest, pastiest skin. It looks like I definitely don't go outside without an umbrella. <laughs> Delphra, give me a nature check okay mm, 17 that's 17. a good roll very good that's really good okay um somebody rolled me an intelligence check oh darling i'm not good at those i have, I have zero to my intelligence um, <laughs> didn't somebody um, get a plus one. item for that i have a Should plus one as well but pretty good oh i only have a plus yeah, one somebody Ooh. do yeah, that's somebody got an item that helps with that. I feel like uh, that would be was, me, I think. Ah. I like <laughs> Why don't you roll both of them? The only class that is going to have a good intelligence will be a wizard. I yeah. don't know about that. I rolled a 15. That's I pretty good. Mean, I just mean with the bonuses, not the the raw luck. Yeah. That's true. Um, I I wish T and D made the intelligence stat. More so I have advantage on intelligence desirable. based skill checks, and I'm okay. going to give you guidance as well. I'm going to say, Delphi, you're the smart one. You can help us with this. Uh, I got a nat twenty. <gasps> Fuck me. Okay, Delphi so here's what you know. One. As you're swinging around, you're looking at the room, and you're looking at all of these things that have been placed in this room and you're like "Mm, i'm just the right type of crazy to figure this out uh with a nature check you remember that the current moon phase is the new moon new moon you also are like why would they leave a priestess's robe here with something in the pocket like why would why would that be placed here Unless maybe you're supposed to put it on or something. Delphur just runs and she's like, fuck, fuck this shit. And I just start putting it on. And I just start swinging it around uh, to the new moon phase. You swing it around uh, with a fucking nat 20. You, as you're saying it, you're saying the incantation in celestial. Uh, like I, you're being, I know infernal. You don't, you don't know celestial, celestial, but she, it was, it was just read to you. Okay, and I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask oh, you. Oh, did I did check. I read it? Did, did I oh, read God. it? Oh God! Out loud. Can I? Make <laughs> I don't know. Guess? Did you? Okay, this is what it would sound like. Um. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's just a bunch of clicking. <laughs> yeah, it okay, sounds like so. That's celestial, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, guidance, right? And bardic, if you haven't used it. 
I haven't used either. All I know is that I have a zero. You can add them both. I okay, can also give you so... guidance, but if you've got one, it doesn't stack, does it? You can't no. have two guidances. So it's going to be a 19. You put on this robe you listened you, without even needing to hear it twice you just repeat the words that you heard uh come out of sin's mouth and you take a running leap do a sick flip grab onto the grab onto the orrery moon uh moon mechanical moon part move it to the moon i can't i, I i'm i can't move, move it, it to today. the moon to the moon move it to, to the, the moon, moon to the moon to the moon to the new moon Move it to the new and moon, to the new moon, to the new moon, to the new new moon. As you do so, <laughs> the ori begins to turn and move on its own. And as it does, it begins to lower into the floor, becoming a stairwell. E I suppose it is time to go. Delphic just yells, I did something right this time! <laughs> Stop her! Yay! And then, like, as so as she, like, spins you. around in, like, that thing, she just kind of drops and just falls into the staircase. Oh. <laughs> falls. <Is laughs> it's, like a, a it's like a winding <laughs> spiral one. <laughs> so you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, make me, make me a death check to see if you land this. <laughs> Ac- acrobatics. Make me acrobatics. It's, you, you gotta drop. Uh... Acrobatics. Okay, I got a 12. 12. You <laughs> you slide a little, but you catch yourself. Yay! You're good. You're good. Uh, and I think that's where we're going to call this. And we'll pick up <laughs> we'll pick up next session. You, we, we're stopping at 10 at 1030, right? So, we're going to call it here and you guys will continue descending the stairs next session. Uh, GG, everyone. <laughs> you guys are for your fucking chaos. Uh, I I'm, it went I'm, really I'm, well. I'm Ice New Stars, and I've been your shenanigan sovereign, and now everyone's gonna say goodbye. Uh, Clover. Oh, um, Juniper, Linen, and Spice saying goodbye. Um, come check me out playing Alien first Sunday of the month on a different channel called Shattered Tabletop Games. Um, Katie. Hi, I'm Katie, uh, Dungeon Mistress Katie, on all the things. Come see me, places that I have mentioned before that I can't remember now. Hi. Uh, <laughs> n- sin, Sky- uh, Scarlet. Hi, I'm Scarlet. I'm the mother of dessert dragons, and I'm playing D&D on my channel tomorrow. I'm the Dungeon Mistress, so if you want to see me beat a bunch of players into submission, uh, stop yes, by. Mommy? mommy? Yes, mommy. <laughs> uh, who 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 has it gone? Most of uh, us. Star. <laughs> star, 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 star. Yeah, hi, I'm Star, and I my podcast characters without stories. We just uh, I just posted an episode where I interviewed all of these beautiful ladies. Um, so you can come listen to us talk about our characters. Uh, so again, that's characters without stories. Um, and you can find me on TikTok, Star Mama C. And I'm going to pass it to GM of Revan. Hey everybody, I'm GM at Revan. You can call me in. And I played Anemone today, a gorgeous Amazonian woman of amazing skill and cat and rabbit taking into a room baseball dodging. <laughs> um, you can find me on the internet as GM at Revan and all the places. I already did all the stuff that I need to do at the beginning of this vod. So, love it. Delphra. Hi, I'm Mommy Kalik. Uh, as I said, you can find me here only on Saturdays and nowhere else. Um, that's it. That's all. Good night. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, we love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.